Welcome to Inside Bikes, welcome to 2024 and for our first video on the channel we wanted to get the team together to have a look ahead of what looks to be an exciting year for us on the channel. So I've got the, the team, <laughs> we got Andrew, Brittany and Paul and um, it was an exciting year last year. Andrew, what, what, what were your highlights? Oh, there was so many highlights I think from last year. Um, I think Karen Ash being the official sponsor of the Iron Man TT and getting to go there, um, covering covering the road racing, which was a record breaking year. The weather was fantastic, kind of really spoiled there. So that was great. But also Eichma. Eichma was, I think probably one of the most exciting for the last couple of years. There was a load of new bikes being launched uh, for 2024. So yeah, it's kind of really, I think 2023 is really set up for an exciting year for 2024. So Eichmann, that's the big trade show over in, in Italy. I, I didn't go this year. Brittany, obviously the highlight for your year was you joined us, so working with me and Andrew's clearly the highlight of, <laughs> of your 2023. You went to Eichma as well. What, yeah, what, what, yeah. what was exciting there for you? So Andrew and I went to Eichma together. Um, what was exciting was all the new bike launches. There were just so many in 2023. A lot of adventure bikes. So I come from the off-road scene. Obviously, I'm going to love the adventure bikes. That was really exciting for me. And then there's two new manufacturers going into the off-road scene, which is really big news, very exciting. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that I'm really curious to see. Obviously, we've got Triumph and Ducati both yeah. making quite a, a bold move into the motocross mm -hmm. world, which I know isn't really our sort of world here inside bikes, but I think it's quite telling that, you know, they've they, they've made that step. They obviously want to see a, a, a market there. Yeah, um, they're making the move there and it's a whole new market for both of them. Mm. They've both got champions working on the bikes, on the development of the bikes, which mm -hmm. is really good. Um, but I think it's just, it's proof that that's where the market is going. It's growing, mm -hmm. which is also a really good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a whole new exciting chapter. I think um, building just from what Brittany was saying, we spoke to a uh, Ducati design director at Eichmann just to kind of get an understanding as to why Ducati uh, in particular are going into the, the motocross scene. Um, and he's just simply said that's where the young people are, that's where the excitement is and they want to be a part of it. And I thought that was a, a really interesting point that the market and the, the world seems to be so focused on electric at the moment and just for Ducati to kind of say actually that's the, you know, that's where the young scene is and that's where they want to be so they're building a bike to, to go into it. I'm, you know, I, I'm also really curious, I think it's one of the things yeah. I'm looking forward to most in 2024 is just seeing where the, the market's evolving. I've been in this world for some, most of my life really and we've gone through the big sports bike scene, we've gone through the adventure yeah. scene, we're kind of in that adventure scene just now. I'm curious to see where the electric world goes because mm -hmm. Seems to be stuttering a little bit. It doesn't seem to be, and I think the fact that Ducati and Triumph, we've both got sort of a little bit of skin in the game with the electric yeah. world. Yeah. They've kind of decided to go and and, and, and build uh, motocross bikes. Triumph are going into that sort of smaller 400 cc yeah. world. We're seeing the emergence of sort of the 700 twins sort of Triumph Daytona 660. Mm. I think we're seeing a real sort of movement in the market. I'm really curious to see how that plays out this year. Me too. I think it'll be very interesting to see where it goes, how it progresses even from there this year. But motorcycles is all about actual riding and <laughs> much as I'm a bit of a geek about these sort of things, it's about riding bikes and going places and seeing events. Mm -hmm. Andrew, what, what are you most looking forward to in 2024? I think the most exciting thing for me is an almost resurgence of the Supersport category. Um, there's some different players in it coming into to this year, um, but we've got the CBR 600 RR come back, it's a name we haven't seen since 2017. Got the Kawasaki ZX6R coming back, there's a new ZX4 RR, which is a really interesting, I think inline four cylinder, 400cc. Um, ZX, ZXR 400 was really popular back in the 90s, so to see another inline four come back um, in 2020. I think it's really exciting. The resurgence of the Daytona name from Triumph, uh, the GSX-8R, there's, there's some interesting sports bikes coming in that kind of middleweight category. Some in line four, some there's a triple, there's, a, there's some twins in there. So it's kind of mixed up from what we traditionally think as a super sport bike. And the, the manufacturers clearly think that there's, there's, there's yeah. a market there. And I think that's mm -hmm. where it's been really surprising is that I think in years gone by we would have thought super sport scene is dead, everyone's going adventure bikes, everyone's going naked or retro bikes. But having super sport bikes kind of in manufacturers mind and actually launching new bikes with a bit of a racing focus I think especially from from Honda's and Kawasaki side to kind of try and get ahead in racing again um, I think it's really interesting so I think those bikes in particular for me I'm going to keep a close eye on for this yeah year. I it's going back to what I was saying I think the market's changing I mm. think it's going to be a bit of a slow burn I think we've seen mm. the R7 the, yeah. the Aprilia's been out a couple of years as well and we're not exactly awash with them on the roads but clearly manufacturers believe in that sector yeah. and I know. find it interesting that also that sector, they're all middleweight. 
So the manufacturers are sticking to middleweights. Um, I don't know what that means. What do you think about that, Paul? It, it, it's a, you know, I mean, when I was growing up, 700 was quite a big bike, but 700 yeah. now is, yeah. is, is, is sort of seen as a middleweight. I, I think it's, it's more that's a license category, isn't it? That's of A2 license yeah, yeah. category seems yeah. to be mm -hmm. the definition of where it is. Anything that you're particularly looking forward to riding this year? Well, if I could ride one new bike in 2024, it would be the Ducati Hypermotard. Really excited wow. with that one. It's something new and impressive That's for me. That's a great shout, yeah. Yeah, mm. that would be really cool. Bit niche, you know, I, yeah. I think it's it's a bike that is a bit of a short, yeah, I don't want to get too much. <laughs> but again, yeah, it's, it shows Ducati going for a bit of a younger audience, yeah. doesn't it? That's it's true. interesting. What, what are you looking forward to riding? I think I've got three on my list. I think a new GS1300 from BMW, I think that'd be a really interesting bike to ride. CBR600 RR, the 2024 model, and uh, the Daytona 660. I think we haven't seen the Daytona name for a while, so um, seeing what that looks like in a 660 triple guys will be really interesting. So those three, I think, are my top picks. Yeah. I think for me, I mean, I'm I'm always a sort of bit of a utilitarian guy. Um, so I think Triumph doing some interesting stuff. They're mm -hmm. kind, of, kind of a bit more down market, no, no disrespect, but they're coming a bit more down yeah. market. The 400s are coming in, but mainstream. Um, we've got a chance to ride them in the next couple of weeks. And the Daytona 660 is kind of that sort of CBR 650, yeah. mm -hmm. Yamaha R7, Ninja 650 kind of kind of competitor, it's, it's going to be really competitively priced, that bike, and I'm curious to see how mm. that actually goes. Yeah. You ride a Trident, don't you? So Yeah, I've got the yeah. Trident 660. Mm. If I could, I would love to compare the Trident with the Daytona to see mm. what the differences are there. Mm. Yeah. And what are you, so in terms of 2024, new to the team this year, yeah. what are you looking to bring to the channel this year? What are you, what, what are you hoping to bring to the viewers? I think I come from an off-road background. I raced motocross, so what I would like to bring to the channel is just showing how diverse that scene is, how it's growing, um, focusing on those bikes, and yeah, just exploring mm. them some more. Obviously, you said mentioned the TT last year. Yeah. Um, more content from the TT yeah, Cloud this year. Yeah, just going back and I think TT-wise, just covering that as much as as much as we can and bring the latest news I think similar to how we did last year but hopefully mm -hmm. go bigger and better than, than we did um, so that's definitely on the list um, I know I spoke about it a lot but really from a from a being a sports bike fan I think bringing kind of news that we haven't really brought too much of in terms of kind of sports bikes and super bikes to the Karen Ash channel so maybe a little bit more kind of sports bike focused stuff with kind of an interesting scene emerging there and especially the middleweight category um, so I think those two things I'd like to kind of yeah bring in for, for 2024. I think one of the beauties of this channel is that we do a bit of everything, mm -hmm. you know, we're representative of the, the, the Karen Ash audience and that is a very diverse church. So I think like you, I think the the GS is the biggest selling bike in, yeah. in, in the UK for, who, who, who can remember the last time it wasn't the biggest <laughs> selling bike in the UK. So anytime BMW bring a new, new GS to the party, you know it's going to be good. Mm. And I think just in general, just continuing to sort of be where, where where the British scene is really, you know, so we do a little bit of racing, a little yeah. bit of sports bike, a little bit of mm -hmm. scooters, mm -hmm. all of that. You know, I tend to really like stuff that's 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 not fussy, you know. So <laughs> so scooters, stuff that just gets you around. Does little, a job well. I love yeah. stuff like that. That's just like <laughs> unglamorous, but like me, unglamorous and just and sort of tries to get the job done. Um, but yeah, you know, and I, I I think we're really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to seeing how Jonathan Ray goes on, on the Yamaha this That's year. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've been a little bit sort of, I think racing's been a bit flat in a couple of years, but obviously you've got Mark Marquez and then you've got Johnny um, at Yamaha. And I think yeah. that's going to be really an interesting championship. You know, you've got his big rival, mm. Alvaro Bautista's got a um, bit of a handicap bike this year. You've got top rack on the BMW. Yeah. And every year you look at the BMW going, wow, that thing's a weapon and it never really quite delivers. Yeah. But will this be the year that BMW finally make a push in World Superbikes? Mm -hmm. And then you've got Johnny and Yamaha, which are two known quantities, two known yeah. winners. I yeah. think that's going to be a really exciting championship mm -hmm. this year. Um, but yeah, I think it's 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 all about the audience, really. So, you know, if you've got anything that you want to uh, see us cover more of or less of, then put something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks, guys. Thanks. It's been great to have a, a quick catch up. Um, really looking forward to 2024. If there's things that you want to see in the channel, this is channel for Karen Ash customers. So, you know, if there's anything that you want to see us do more of, put comments in the section below. Um, but until next time, subscribe, stay tuned. We've got loads of cool co content coming in the next few months. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Mm.